So Phoebe Bridgers rocked the SNL stage this past Saturday for her SNL debut, and I mean it could be her last. We'll we'll see because if whatever she did wasn't staged, then you know how Lauren Michaels is to quickly just put the ban out on artists who cause destruction. But uh, if it is, it was a hell of a good one. She sang her two songs, which Kyoto obviously I think was the obvious one that she had to sing first and nothing out of the ordinary, pretty normal. I think it went as well as it could have went. And then she comes out for her song, I Know The End. And again, everything seemed normal, but then she proceeded right at the end when it starts getting crazy to what I like to call channeling her inner Kurt Cobain where she just starts going crazy playing guitar. She shouts a little bit. <laughs> and then proceeds to break her guitar. <laughs> over the SNL speakers, the sound equipment, and I know over the years, SNL, for the most part, is not known for having the best sound team when it comes to musical guests, so I don't know, maybe this was an occasion where Phoebe got pissed with how something sounded, took it out on the sound system, maybe this was planned, I don't know. But it led to memes about, here's someone's mother texting their daughter saying, why is she so angry? You have, I wish all SNL sound equipment a very die. And then someone said, when Phoebe Bridgers said, <coughs> I felt that. So, yeah, all of a sudden, one night after doing this, on SNL, she has become a meme. Her album Punisher is back in the US charts in the top 20, so I guess good for her. I am a Phoebe Bridgers fan, I love the album, and just seeing that SNL performance, it's actually probably the best one I've seen so far this season, and we've had the Foo Fighters and Jack White, and even Megan Thee Stallion's performance, even though I didn't like the song, I liked the imagery and whatnot that was, you know, put out there and all that stuff, but this one just takes the cake because it really wasn't anything super fancy. It was her and her band going out there in the little skeleton onesies doing their thing, and there was a little bit of smoke here and there, and then that little fireworks show at the end, uh, so I don't see the problem with it. There's just people freaking out, like, you know, she, she shouldn't have damaged property like that, but... In the end, isn't this what people want rock stars to be? Like, isn't this one of the main complaints as to why people think rock is dead? Is because they don't do shit like this anymore? They don't... They, they, because they give a shit now, they're not supposed to give a shit, and she didn't give a shit, and she smashed her guitar, and then there's people like, oh, she didn't really smash the guitar well. Listen, she's like five foot one, and like, probably like only like a hundred pounds or so. She's not that big of a woman, and it's not as easy to break as an acoustic guitar is. Acoustic guitar you can just kind of boom, but with an electric guitar like that with what had a very long neck in my opinion, you gotta find that break spot. And if you don't find that break spot, it can be devastatingly hard to even figure out. But, you know, in the end, I don't see what the big deal is. She did her thing, she did very well, and really she turned a song that was mellow and just, you know, not necessarily a freak out song into something that you can just uh, relate to. I think what she screamed out at the end was what everybody's thinking in their mind, especially all through 2020, which is just... <laughs> That's basically it. I just wanted to tell you about this, give my opinion, because it's just funny that people are up in arms. People say it's mostly the boomers, but I don't want to really do like, oh, it's the boomers saying this and the Gen Z's okay. I don't give a shit. I really don't. She did what she did, and whether it was intentional or not, it was still a good fucking show and a fantastic way to finish. And yeah, that's basically where that's at. It seems like it was staged because she was... Also, uh, at the end portion of the show, where they say their goodbyes and their thank yous, she was there. I have a feeling if it wasn't staged and she just smashed the SNL equipment just cause, that uh, Lauren Michaels would have been like, no, you need to leave now, but it could also have been her equipment. So, yeah, that's just, that's it. That's all. Stay safe out there. Wear your mask. And if you haven't seen the performance already, I will link that in the description below for you to see. But until then... Catch you all in the next one.